Hello friends, I'm Luis Martin Del Rio and in this video I'm going to give you some advice on how to groom a Norwich Terrier. The Norwich is a short-legged terrier originating from the United Kingdom. The Norwich Terrier's dominant hair is wiry, so we're going to work mainly with our hands using the stripping technique. For this technique there are different tools to help us, one of which is called the supercoats, which will help us remove hair but without definition. The stone is another tool that can help us to eliminate hair and the undercoat, so we're able to make definition and give a nice finish. A stripping knife, which is the most technical tool that we can use in the different phases of stripping. In this case, I'm going to use a stripping knife that will help me leave more of a precise finish. If the coat is very dense, then we'll start with a stripping knife that has the widest teeth. This way, we'll be cleaning up the coat. We'll be using different stripping knives. At the beginning, we'll be using a fine tooth, which has the sharpest teeth, which can also be used for the undercoat. When I start, the first thing I do is protect my thumb. I'll use a latex thimble that's ideal for pulling out hair without any effort. In the event the coat has fine hair or is very oily, we can use stripping dust to help us. With this powder, it's important to understand that we only have to dip our fingers. Like this, we can easily, gently pull the hair. We never cover all the skin and the coat with this product. It's important to adopt a comfortable and ergonomic position. Now we can begin to start to work on the grooming of our Norwich Terrier. For the flat work area, which in this case would be the ears, we'll be using this stripping knife so as not to risk causing any damage to the skin. Already we've been able to eliminate as much mature hair as possible. Now it's time to change the stripping knife. We'll proceed to this one which has the finest teeth for definition and to mark our lines. By using the stripping knife with the finest teeth, we'll be able to clean up the hair which has fallen from using the larger toothed stripping knife. Mr. 
We shouldn't remove the undercoat with this breed in depth. So to help us, we'll be using a stone to clean up the surface layer of our coat and simply eliminate some of the undercoat that is in sight. Once we've completed this layer, we'll go over to the bath, but previously we'll clean up the sanitary area, cut the nails and clean the ears. In this case, Charlotte has short nails, so I'm simply going to use the electric nail file to give it the right shape. Remember that you always have to work on the side of the nail, never flat. If not, it will take a lot more time in filing. We're going to use Artero's Uri Gel to eliminate the dirt and serum from the ears. We'll apply it by making a little massage. Then remove the excess with Artero's cleaning thimbles. We'll start by using Relax, working it into the skin. The second shampoo will work on the coat with Vitalizante, which gives texture and shine. And for the most bathed areas like the underline and the beard, we'll finish conditioning with Artero's Protein Vital to restructure the coat. We leave them to take effect for about three minutes. With our special comb, it's time to eliminate any dirt accumulated around the eye, which would have softened due to the shampoo and protein. Now it's the moment to go to the vitalizing shampoo. Once we've finished shampooing with Vitalizante, We'll let it take effect for three minutes. Always remember that we must use tepid water, first for the comfort of the animal and second to dissolve the oil and dirt from the skin and coat. Now we're going to condition the underline, the legs and the beard area with Artero's protein to recover all the damaged hair and also obtain as much volume as possible from the undercoat. For the conditioner to take effect, we'll leave it between three to five minutes. Now we'll rinse it off so that it doesn't spoil any volume. Now it's time to towel dry. We're going to dry and give volume and focus on removing the hair that we have not yet covered. Now I'm going to use a brush to open all along the hair using a metal bristled brush, trying not to pull out the rest of the hair. 
Remember that if during the stripping there is any time in which the skin has become inflamed or a little irritated, we can use Artero's balsam to help, which will recover and leave the skin in perfect state. We're going to apply volume mousse, Artero's Zoom, for the legs, paws, underline and beard, since those are the plucking areas we're going to work on. We'll need a higher fixation and volume to work on them freely. In order to give the maximum volume, we'll use hot air and a brush and brush in reverse. We'll review what is left of the layer and then we'll go to the plucking areas. The areas which have volume will be shaping and making the silhouette in which we want to achieve. The static artist will help us texturize the plucking zones. A rounded pin comb will help us take out the maximum result of our groomed shape. So, as you can see, we've finished the layer and the plucking area. Now we're going to try matching the color transition between layers and the longer zones. For this, we'll use a color chalk and a natural bristled brush. After we have matched the colour in the whole body, it's time to fix our shape. And for this, we'll use Artero's Podium Dry. And 
And so we have our groomed Norwich Terrier ready.